Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Trapjaw from the new He-Man and the Masters of the Universe line from Mattel. This is based on the new Netflix series that uh, came out about a month or so ago at this point. I uh, wasn't sure if this guy was in the first wave or not, but I did find him in person at a Walmart. So I'm excited to take a look at him today. Packaging pretty similar to what we've seen before. Really the background and everything is the same. You just have a picture of Trapjaw up in the corner instead of the other characters. Uh, you still have the weird barcode on the front here and it shows off the power attack, which is the same kind of uh, torso movement that all the rest of the figures have, but we'll get into it. Uh, you can see that he has this giant kind of crane claw here. Uh, he's got a firing missile out of the center. Uh, it looks like there is a one-time assembly that we'll have to do over here. And then it shows He-Man and Skeletor in the small little cross cell down here. So, like I said, pretty standard packaging for this line so far. Let's go ahead, let's get him out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. So here is Trapjaw out of the packaging, and he's not bad. He is missing a few fundamental things that I think really make the character Trapjaw, or at least the action figures of Trapjaw. Uh, he does not have an opening or closing jaw. It's kind of his whole thing. So that is a molded solid piece there. You can see the jaw kind of extends out the back. And they kind of gave him this weird like shark mouth. And uh, he cannot open and close the jaw. So that's a little bit weird. Uh, it still looks decent. I think the sculpting is pretty good there. I do think it looks nice. It has the green face. has the maroon head with the pink jaw. Uh, it's on kind of a limited ball joint. So you can kind of look up, look down. Uh, definitely move side to side. No problem. Uh, also, we click this into place, and this does not come out. So if you're familiar with the character of Trapjaw, usually the figures have a lot of different accessories. They have a gun, or they have a grabbing claw, or they have um, a hook. So he's got a lot of different options, but not this one. This one just has the one, because when you push that in, it snaps into place. It's not going anywhere. So he is just ready to, uh, you know, move around, grab plush animals, and then drop them at the last second before they go into the bucket. I mean, that's kind of how that works. So uh, not really a ton going on with this guy. Uh, articulation, you can move this. I was afraid because of the way the shoulder is done that he would lose the arm articulation over here, but that's not the case. This is definitely a softer kind of rubbery plastic, um, which is just kind of connected to the arm. So the arm can just swivel like all the other arms can. This arm also swivels. Uh, you can, technically can move this around if you would like. And he does have this uh, like burst of energy that you can peg in here. Unfortunately, it doesn't really snap. So I was hoping this was going to be like a friction fire missile where this would kind of like fit into the channel and kind of click into place. And then you would kind of push this and then it would kind of like fire out that way. But I think they're relying on the like waist movement to get this to fire. So let me see if I can do this. Like kind of wind this back. And then I'm having kind of throw it. I guess that kind of works. Of course, now it's falling down here. There we go. So that kind of works because he does have that same uh, torso that all the other figures have where he kind of goes back this way and also side to side. So he kind of has the spring loaded gimmick. So it does kind of work to kind of, he just kind of throws the missile. Uh, otherwise, the hip, you can kind of go out to the side a little bit and a little front to back. But he does have this kind of soft rubbery plastic loincloth piece here that limits movement a little bit. And then the legs are all one solid piece, so there's no movement at the boots or anything like that. It's just the hip and that's it. Um, also, I kind of feel like this arm is a little bare. He needs something. Actually, the arm does rotate. I forgot to... The hand does rotate at the wrist. But I feel like he needs a gauntlet or something. I just feel like his whole chest and his whole arm are just completely unadorned. And I just feel like he needs something. It just looks a little plain. It's not terrible. He doesn't look bad. I just feel like he needs a little something. I mean, yes, he's got a very, you know, uh, involved arm on the other side to kind of make up for it. But I don't know. I just felt like he needed a, a gauntlet or something just to break up a lot of that blue. But for the most part, he's pretty cool. I mean, he looks okay. Let's bring in Skeletor here so we can see the two of these guys together. See, I feel like with Skeletor, you just have so much more color all over the place. Whereas with Chapjaw, he's just a little plain and he's definitely muted. His tones are very kind of darker and I feel like he needs something to kind of make him pop I mean the pink for the jaw is nice but he's got a lot of dark colors like the dark green the black the kind of darker blue and that is his color scheme I'm not trying to say it's not I don't know I just felt like he needs a little something like if you have these two on a shelf or on a peg next to each other you know I'm gonna pick Skeletor every time because he just looks way more exciting and vibrant and fun I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm being too hard on it. I don't know. 
I still think it's a good figure. I definitely like it as a figure. I just... I don't know. He's missing some of the pizzazz, I think, that makes him trapped on I me. Mean, we already don't have the opening closing jaw. We only have the one attachment here for the claw hand. Uh, you know, a little something extra would have been nice. But for the most part, I think he's fine. I do like this gimmick. I didn't think I would at first, but I do kind of like it. I don't know why. And the fact that he just kind of like throws the missile. I do wish that was a friction fire missile. I wish that you could put this in and it would kind of click into place. Uh, because otherwise, if you're moving him around... Well, now it's going to it's gonna make me a liar. But usually this will just fall right out of here. Like, usually it doesn't have much keeping it in place. Although now, because I'm on camera, it seems to want to do nothing but stay in place. So good. All right, fine. Stay in place. But I was playing with it before, and it just kind of would, like, fall out. But I guess as long as you kind of push it in. Now, see, there you go. Now it won't. So depending on how you have it clicked in, I guess if you rotate it to the correct spot. So it, it's kind of hit or miss. Much like the missile when you're firing it at someone. So, he's a good figure. I definitely think he's one of the weaker in the first assortment. Um, but I'm not. that's not to say that he's bad. I just think, you know, He-Man and Skeletor certainly are, are stronger figures and just more colorful, more uh, articulate. Well, not really more articulate because uh, they really all have the same. I mean, the only articulation he loses, although I guess technically if you're counting this as his wrist, he has two rotating wrists. So I guess really you're not missing out the more I think about it. So I guess he's got the same amount of articulation as everyone else. So yeah, he's fine. He's just not one of my favorites. But that's not to say that he's bad. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Do you like the gimmick? Do you hate the gimmick? He seems to be having trouble standing. Now. There we go. Okay, now he's fine. So like I said, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.